Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from X Express Themes and this is a video tutorial of our photography free WordPress theme from X Express. Now this is the demo site of the, our theme as you can check. It's pretty nice for any photography website. So if you like this theme then you can download it from our website that is xexpressthemes.com or you can always download it from wordpress.org. Now in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, upload your logo or have the site identity text and change your web page, web page layout and such. So let's do that by logging into my WordPress account. Then go to appearance and then click on customize. This theme is customized based so you won't find any theme option here. Then you'll find your basic settings, click there. And the first settings that you'll find is web page layout. From here you can choose the layout of your website. Either you want it to be in full width or boxed. Well, we have in our demo site in a full width layout. If you choose this box, that, sorry, if you choose this boxed, then you will find uh, as such, that is with some space. Let me show you how. Let us go to our front end. So this is how your site's gonna show that is with some space on the left and right side of the screen which you can cover from a background color or an image later so the next option that you will find here is site identity it is the site title uh, or a site tagline which will appear if you don't uh, use any logo in your website or even if you upload a logo then this, this will show if you put some text here so you also have the option to display or not display this header text if you want to display then you can uh, check this and if you don't want then you can uncheck it so right now we'll check it and this will show here like this so from here you can also have a site icon it's basically a fab icon or a tab icon which here you'll find the image these are the fab icons you can upload an image from here just choose any icon well the best image size is 16 by 16 pixel so you better want to use that image size so after we have saved it let's see our front end and you'll find a fab icon here just like that now the next thing is you can upload uh, a logo from this logo setting you just need to click on add new image and uh, choose a logo image well the standard size we have used here is 120 by 51 pixel so you can use that image size too I'm gonna skip cropping and this is uploaded now we, we have to do save and publish you'll find here your logo and if you only want your logo here then you can always disable this header text so your logo will only show there and the next thing is you can choose your background color as we have chosen a box layout you can fill that up with varieties of color as like that it is appearing a little ugly because we haven't uh, have any post or anything as in our demo site but it'll look pretty good when it'll be filled so let me just keep it white for now okay the next thing that you can do is you can also select uh, upload a background image that will show in that place where mm -hmm. we have just placed a color then next thing you can do is you can uh, write footer copyright text it is the text just here let us see sorry about the spelling I'll click on save and publish now this footer text will appear here but if you want to change this footer text then it is only available available the option is only available in our pro version so you have to upgrade to our pro version uh, but right now we don't have we don't have its pro version yet so you can use some CSS and uh, hide this 
uh, footer text if you don't like it. So these are the uh, things that you can do with basic settings of photography theme. So I hope this video is helpful to you in making some changes uh, in your site with this theme. And if you have any confusion, then you can always refer to our online documentation, which is in our theme detail page. That is from here. You can find all the steps and process of making your website with this theme. So you can use this. Or if you have any confusion about this video, then you can write to me down below in the comments comment section and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Or you can contact our support team uh, in our website. So thank you very much.